I'm still in shock that I'm here. Fruit supplies! Look at me in my kitchen. Wait, these are so freaking cute. I'm honestly embarrassed to even show you this room. Totally forgot I owned these. I 100% do not have this set up right. Welcome to my home. I still don't have my coffee machine. I ordered one. It's not here yet. I don't have a kettle. I don't have anything. We carry on with this. I'm just so excited for my new life. I just like look around, I'm like, this is not real. Like, how do I deserve this? It's not real. I'm still in shock that I'm here. It's overwhelming, it's scary. I don't have furniture, I don't have friends. I haven't even really gone out to like my local stores that I've been looking forward to so much. I'm still just trying to get situated and a lot of that overwhelms me like, while I want everything done, I want this to feel like a home, I really want to use this opportunity to slow down, to enjoy the process, to see this as a journey of growing as a person, introducing new things that I love into my life, and just living a completely different, completely different lifestyle. It's gonna be a ride. I have so many plans for this house. I am so excited to have it come together Right now, I really need to come together in very simple ways. Oh, so crazy, and I'm like literally so scared. Every two thoughts, I'm like, what if this was a giant mistake? Oh, look at the kitchen. Okay, I am fully aware that I am supposed to be cleaning, putting my clothes away, getting the house together, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I actually got a guest pass to go to the Nike, like the corporate store, which is so cool, it's so exciting. So, I'm gonna go buy shoes instead of doing things that I need to do. I'm just gonna cook some lunch up before we go because otherwise I'm gonna get really hungry and I'm gonna wanna do takeout. And you know, the goal is not to do takeout unless I'm going out, unless it's like a whole thing, not getting takeout out of like necessity or laziness. Well, I think it's just laziness. Tongs, tongs, tongs. I'm not really good at having a dishwasher yet because I only have one of everything. So I put it in the dishwasher, but then I just need it. This is a system that has to be figured out. Vegan butter, garlic, crouton crumbles, and crispy lentils. Fun salad mix. I've already started to overwhelm myself with the amount of things that I wanna cook, grill, bake. It's gonna be so fun. That's it. Okay, got back from Nike. That was super cool, it felt so special. Being able, hi boys, it's not chewy. Nike store was really fun. I got a pair of blazers. We even see them. It's like a horrible shadow. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh my god, I think I have a sinus infection. Yeah. Really, oh, really cute, really basic. That's exciting, but more exciting is that I got a big Amazon package and I actually don't know what's in it. It's a gift and I saw that my sister sent it to me. Stop! Wait, these are so freaking cute. There's little spoons! The, no, Mako, go to your bed. I've never even seen anything like this. A window garden, nine herbs, 
basil, chive, cilantro, dill, oregano, thyme, sage, mustard, parsley. Oh my gosh, I've never grown mustard before. It's a coaster set. <laughs> Don't fuck up the table. This is so funny. Be considerate, bitches. My sister is too good to me. Ah! She had these glasses when I was FaceTiming my mom when she was there. Little iced coffee glasses. Here we go. Margs to go? Okay. I haven't bought anything for the house yet. So this is such a fun start. Have I cleaned this room? I was gonna organize. I said I was gonna organize and clean this room today. Oh my God, I'm like embarrassed. To sh I'm honestly embarrassed to even show you this room. I look like I'm living out of a dorm room. Oh my God. Thrown on the floor. I'm trying not to be too hard on myself and like obsess over the fact that I didn't get this done today or yesterday because I'm trying to be kinder to myself. I'm trying to be understanding that this is an entire process. It can't all get done at once. Hi, you come to check on me? Thank you. Thank you. You're just licking my moisturizer. So tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Let's see. I currently just started hunting Adeline. I'm not very far in it at all, but another dark romance. And hopefully it'll be good. I don't really have anything to share yet, but I'm gonna read tonight. Try and get my mind calm enough where I can actually read, because that's also been a struggle, so. Okay, this is a pretty good grocery haul. I did Walmart pickup. Gotta do Walmart pickup. Uh, especially, I mean, I love my Whole Foods. I love Trader Joe's, but the price of groceries, it's not great. So Walmart pickup is my go-to for pretty much everything that I think I'm gonna need for the week. And then other stuff is fun extras, but this, I think this total came to 140 and I got so much good stuff and I'm honestly just really excited that I can fit a full size milk in my fridge. I can't believe that I bought the wrong lettuce. Like, seriously. Oh no, my zucchini is going bad. Can we talk about the fridge? Look at this. A poppy shelf. It's like empty. I just don't have that much stuff for the fridge yet, but this, this gives me so much joy. And having multiple tofus gives me so much joy. So many apples. I mean, honestly, it's really just fun to have groceries to be able to cook, and I haven't even really cooked that much um, since I've only lived here for a couple days now. I need to like actually fully, fully organize the fridge. I don't even know where I want things to really go yet. I've just kind of been throwing it in because it's so empty, there's space everywhere. So I need to get like a system in place. Then I'm gonna get one of those fun drink dispensers for the fridge, because why not? And oh my God, maybe other fun fridge stuff. Oh my God, see, this is where I get overwhelmed. I start to have these thoughts and it's like, all of these things that I can have and buy now, but do I need them? And I'm so scared that I'm gonna fall out of, I would say behaviors that keep me happy with being pretty minimal, not having a lot of excess, and just sticking to that mentality, but then also now having the ability to have things that I haven't before. It's a weird line, and that's definitely where I get incredibly overwhelmed thinking about all of these things, and then be like, you don't need them. Then be like, yeah, but some of them are fun. Poppy break. I'm just making such a quick lunch. Bragging about Walmart pickup, it's so awesome. I've never in my life seen anything like this. It smells so bad. Like, so bad. Okay, normal onion. <laughs> that was so scary. I've like, oh. All right, let's 
see how this one came out. It's kind of my favorite thing about making, you know, not measuring things like that, is that sometimes it just comes out so good and then other times you're just like, huh, wasn't as good as last time. That's a good one. Might need a little bit more salt or it just needs to sit for a little. Also, I don't think that these are the Marys that I normally buy. I feel like I buy a blue box. Okay, serious question though. Do I get a microwave? Like, do I get a microwave? I've lived without a microwave for many years now. Anytime I've been around a microwave, I've used it. And I don't know if I should get a microwave or not. It sounds like, I mean, this is like an internal struggle. This constant battle between need and want because I've proven that I don't need most things. I don't need a toaster, I don't need an air fryer, I don't need a microwave, but I'm like, if I want those, is that okay? Or am I gonna feel like I own too many things? Like, do I give myself permission to want those things? Or do I just feel like I should have those because I live in a house now? Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Okay, you know how I was like, oh, I have to use my jet boil. I don't have a, I don't have a kettle. I don't have, um, I don't have my coffee machine yet. I have a fucking boiling water tap. A boiling water tap. Hot boiling water on demand. What is wrong with me? I was just making tea and I had the jet boil out again. And now I just made green tea with my tea tap. I'm also psychotic enough that I measured, I took the temperature of the water that came out of it and it comes out at 185. Cause I didn't believe that was hot water. I like saw it, I didn't put my hand in it, but I saw it and it, it's proven true, 185 degrees. Here we are in this disastrous back room. I started hanging up some of my clothes. This is what I got. I have more stuff hung up already than I kind of realized. I have more clothes than I kind of realized too, which is weird, but I need to go through my clothes. Today is not that day. I am excited to add more pants to my wardrobe now that I have space. I wear the same shirt every single day. So I am excited to switch that up. Definitely miss the return window on these. I guess I own these now. Oof. We don't have a pile for this yet. I don't know what t-shirts I should hang up and what t-shirts I shouldn't hang up. Also, I don't have a dresser right now. This is the cutest freaking skirt ever. Where am I wearing this? I mean, now I'm wearing it. Now I'm like, we're going to the brewery. We're going out. We're going to hang out. We're going to a friend's house I don't have yet. Boom, skirt. Totally forgot I owned these. I really do need jeans though. I don't know where to buy jeans. Calling all millennials, where are we shopping for jeans? What, what, like naked in this? Is that why I've never worn this? Oh, I just had a sneezy attack. Oh my God, I did that at work today. Like I was literally dying and I was like shaking my head trying to get the sneeze out. And someone like called me out in a meeting. I was like, Jen, what's so funny? What's going on? <laughs> and all honesty, I feel like I lost so much of my style traveling because I'm wearing stuff casual, comfortable. And I feel like I lost so much of my personal style not a super great feeling honestly because it's like your identity like what you wear what you like to wear like that's part of who you are so i kind of lost that ability to express that and i really want that back like i i really look forward to feeling good about what i'm wearing and excited about clothes that's gonna be a fun thing to be able to shop again to be able to have a shipping address and get clothes the system is not working. I didn't actually finish. I just folded everything, put it right over there, and hung this up in my closet, which is so funny because it's so empty. Um, but I like it because I can see everything. And then this is a storage room right now. Oh, but imagine this. Big built-in bookshelves. So hear me out. I'm gonna take this down gonna do big built-in inset bookshelves i think that's gonna be like my studio wall like where i work and i'll have my desk over here i just see them like matte black like all these crazy things on the shelves oh, 
I can just picture it. It's going to be such a fun thing because this is the office and this is the guest room. But it'll probably just be converted into a guest room when people come over. But like, just imagine it. Like, just look at it. Look at it and envision. Gorgeous. I got a coffee maker! This is the most exciting thing. This is the first thing that I've ordered. It's not where the scissors are. First thing that I've ordered for the house. The first, oh, my first appliance. This is wild. Also, <laughs> I tried the hot water tap this morning. Tried my tea tap for coffee. Tea tap is meant for tea. It did nothing for the French press. It was not hot enough. It was just like coffee water. It's not chewy. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Oh. I'm so freaking pumped on this machine. This was a hard decision of what to get. Oh my God. I'm so, so excited. The coolest thing about this coffee machine is that it has, it's Ninja coffee machine, and then it has an espresso attachment, half of it. So this side's an espresso, so it does little pods. And then this side's just like regular drip coffee machine, which is so cool, because in the afternoon I always want like a second cup of coffee, but I don't want to make coffee, because then I feel like I'll drink too much coffee. So now I just have this little, I just put little pods. Oh, it's not that big. No. Wait, should... the box made it look huge. Yeah, it did. This is sick, nice. <gasps> coffee portion. Is that where the pod goes? Just a little pod. And then they even sell Nespresso pods that are not like Nespresso brand. I ordered Pete's ones because that's what they had at Walmart. And I wanted to make sure that I had something to try it out with. First appliance! All right, got it? Yeah. All right, so now go to the other side. Yeah, that looks level. You're not gonna believe me, but I got a couch. I got a couch. Today is Friday, today marks one week of getting to the house. I got a freaking couch today. Not only that, oh my God, wait for the details. I'm moving in right now, so. Woo. Should have vacuumed. <laughs> we vacuumed yesterday. I know, but not where the bed was. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Stop it right now. Good thing you're not a mover. I'm not cut out to be you're a mover. Really not. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this might be the throw pillow. Okay, so you know how I was talking about being patient? I was talking about this is my time where I don't, I need to work on that instant gratification. I need to be patient. This is what happens. Good things come to those who wait. This is another proven moment. This is my freaking dream couch. I mean, this is so many people's dream couch at this point. I have like a backstory to this. Pointless, you won't care. But this is a freaking cloud couch. This is a restoration hardware cloud couch that I just picked up from Aaron, who is like the coolest guy in the entire world. I know I gotta finish doing the cushions, but it's just crazy. Oh my God, do we see how fluffy this is? I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Wait, there's clippies that go, that actually hold the cushions onto the couch, which is nuts. It's like the strings inside of a duvet cover. I have not been necessarily true to what my goals were this week, which was staying patient and being kind to myself. I've been obsessing over a couch. I've been obsessing over a couch before we even got to the house. And I mean, I get it. A couch is really important and couches are super expensive. And I am in no position to buy a new couch or ever afford <laughs> this couch. Do you think there's a special corner one? I don't know either. Like the house, I finally let off the whole 
couch obsession. I mean, I was refreshing like marketplace like every five minutes. I was just trying to find something I could buy. I didn't want something gray. Ideally, I want black or a dark green, but that, you know, that's very specific for finding a marketplace couch. And then got to the point where I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna settle. I'm not gonna spend $500 on something that I'm just gonna get rid of anyways in hopes of buying another couch when we don't have all the moving expenses like right up front. So like I let that go, I pushed that out and I was like, I'll just keep checking. I'm gonna take the pressure off of it. And when something pops up, I'll reach out and just keep it super casual and have like my expectations very minimal. And this is what happened. This is literally what happened. I 100% do not have this set up right. I do not, this is not correct. No, just put it in the... Put it up here. Yeah, well, I just speak. moved the cushion. Ouch. Tell your wife these cookies are fire, thank you. Oh, <laughs> Aaron. Aaron was like, please take the table. He's like, I bought this entire restoration hardware set and I, I need it gone. I want it gone. He was like, I'll literally give it to you for nothing. So have the restoration hardware coffee table. He really tried to get us on the lamps too. And I was like, no, we really don't want the lamps. I want really funky lamps. Get, got the couch and we have this massive rug. So I've made out. I mean, I paid a good chunk for this couch. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like get it for free or anything. Our weirdly narrow hallway. Pillows. Oh my god, stop. Why are you such a little fluff hopping around the couch? Ah, abajo. No. Mako is not allowed on the couch. We are now those people. Your bed comes tomorrow, Bubba. Your bed comes tomorrow. It's so cool. It's black, it's memory foam. Damn. Oh my god. I guess so. <laughs> Keeping it real. Woo, baby. Nope. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Do we need a bed? I know, oh buddy. You're god. not up here. This is crazy. Wait, this is so freaking nuts. So, this was definitely. This was meant to be. Patience, patience, patience. This is reinstating the values that I need to, I need to hear, that I need to practice. <sighs> I just can't even believe that there is a couch in the house right now. Squatters have moved to the bedroom. First week. It's a big week. <laughs> Should we do a mini tour? Okay, first of all, Here's my basic bitch couch. I am officially the basic bitch. Like 100% white, white cloud couch. I have no identity anymore. I am everyone else. So that, maybe one day I'll buy the black covers. You can replace the covers online. They're very expensive. So like one day, meaning probably never. Um, but I'm gonna get tons of funky pillows and blankets. The style I'm going for in the house, while you would never be able to tell yet, is gonna be an eclectic gothic. Um, so it's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be super. Why are you so cute? That was precious. You jumping on the couch is absolutely precious. This corner over here with <laughs> grandfather clock um, is going to be my reading nook, as of now at least, and I'm gonna paint that clock matte black. Do I completely deface? this vintage beautiful piece and the answer is probably yes because I don't care and I like black um that's gonna be the reading nook I'm gonna do a funky wallpaper here maybe here but I need to tie together that wall so one will be wallpaper one will probably be painted black and then I'm gonna do really fun gallery wall there but like not just a vintage gallery wall like in the truck lots of pops of neon and just really weird definitely leaning into the weird i mean we're in oregon right keep portland weird i think that's what they say 
And I'm talking about this like I'm good at this. I'm not good at this. I am not one of those people that just like puts together a space so well. Absolutely not. I struggle with this so bad. Even coming up with like the concepts. I've been doing my Pinterest board for a house for months now. Like months. And it's still all over the place. And then we won't even talk my office back room. But here we go. I guess we'll just finish this out with plans. The deck. Oh, all right. Grill is going right there, which Charlie actually just went to go pick up right now. This, this deck, this deck is where I'm going to put all of my time before I do anything in the house because I want to live outside. I just want to live outside. So I think an L couch right there so that there's so much sitting hangout area. And then I'm thinking a table, definitely tons of adorable string lights. Gonna do so many, like just such a vibe with the lights. And then definitely some kind of outdoor rug, but those are super expensive, so I'll probably never get one. That backward over there, do a more of a lounge chair. Just laying in the sun reading or something. Oh my God, I'm like freaking out just thinking about it. So cool, so cool. Also, I'm leaving tonight. I've been in the house for one week. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go fly out and see my mom. So yeah, house was fun. A whole week in the house. I gotta go pack, just kidding. I actually have to finish work. I didn't do that yet.